<laughs> this is fantastic. Wow. This is April. This is for the Baja Media And now that art show is up in the front one here, and it's really detailed, and it would take a while to shoot it in detail. But it would be great if you could do some. Uh, Michael was, you know, born in New Zealand, came here as an infant, and lived here his whole life until he got married and had this kid, Henry, you saw outside. Yes. And uh, they divorced, and he traveled all over the world drawing stuff. A lot of times he was homeless, mm -hmm. but he never was without a pencil and paper. Ah. So beautiful drawings, and he often wrote letters on the back of the drawings and sent them to Aww. family members and to myself. Very and, personal, and, for sure. Really sweet. So he passed away last uh, winter, drowned in a canal in Berlin. Oh no. And he'd been living there, and this is the first time we've ever done a show in Vancouver again. Yeah. Wow, this is international yeah. art comes back home. Yeah. <laughs> and we're still lucky to have his, his mom and his son here. Mm -hmm. And his brother will be here too at some point. Nice. And I'll, and I'll call him. Okay, so let's have a look here. Just have a look. Okay. This is actually a painting of my kitchen that I used to have on Fourth Avenue. Nice. Very intensely detailed drawings. Like, no. That's what I'm saying. It's so hard to capture. Like it's incredible how much he drew. He Amazing. loved Germany. He loved, uh, you know, European stuff. But he, it was it's the fantasy of his mind. Look at I this. Know. The inside of a building. The walls were removed, and you can see each person. He lived in a lot of squats, you know? Uh -huh. So it was very dense housing with lots of different types of people in there. I love it. Look at that, inside the building there. What a, what a guy. Mm -hmm. And he had a bit of an edge to him, too. Oh, yes. And it's lots of scenes with, like, smoking, you know, chimneys and devils and fantastic elephants. This one, the guy's got a razor blade. Cool. It's, oh my god, I can see it. Yeah. yeah. He would draw stuff like that just for, you know, whatever reason. Fantastic. But well, we can, uh, Joanne will let us leave it up. Uh, both, a lot of it's Joanne, some of it's her sons, and some of it's mine, but Joanne will let us leave it up to do a show on it. I think that's great. So in Berlin, there was this theater boat where they do theater on a boat right by a bridge where he really liked to go all the time. And if the river was frozen when he drowned. I don't know how he, he might have tried to cross it and fall through the ice. But his body came up right at the boat that he always went to. Oh, so wow. It's funny because he painted it a lot, you know. They liked it because they had a theater there, like a community theater. Oh, on a boat. On the boat. Fantastic. Which is great because they didn't have to you know, pay any rent to have it there or anything. And these are more paintings, the same kind of stuff. Here's a picture of them there looking very handsome. Oh. Yeah. Oh, bless his soul. Yeah. You know? And stuff. Look at these crazy things, you know? Just everything in your horses and churches and people. Oh, look it's at that. It's so complex to get all that stuff to market and everything, right? Oh, my God. He loved detail. Very meticulous. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> no, the artist passed away, so we're doing a show of his stuff. Oh, he passed away? Yeah, his oh, mother and his son are here. Oh, wow. This is all his stuff. We did lots of really detailed stuff, right? Wow. Spent a lot of time homeless and, and traveling around all that. That right? sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that man. That's, that's a painting. That's him. That's the guy. Yeah. Is that a painting? Yeah, that's a drawing. Sounds kind of cool. What's the name of this guy? Corin. So it's Mike Corkill. Oh, Mike, Mike Corkill. Hey, it's right, it's right there. It's right there. Miles, right there. My name too, Michael. Nice. Uh -huh. And there are stories that people wrote about him. Oh, why did he die? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, say the man, eh? Dienstag, Kultur Lokal. Well, some of that is translated from the German, that somebody wrote yeah. it in German. Uh -huh. and, so I don't know what the translation was. Well, my it. His dad was a meticulous mechanic, so maybe that's part of where it's. Yeah, he's got that uh, mathematical engineering sort of brain. Yeah. 
His dad, you might remember, I don't know how long you've been in Vancouver, but there was a guy who used to ride around with a cat on his handlebars that had a little helmet on it. Oh yeah? That was his dad. Wow. <laughs> and he was restless too. He moved to New Zealand and he had a little uh, motorcycle with a sidecar and the cat on the front and his girlfriend in the sidecar. That's a yeah. great way to travel. Yeah. This guy should not go being dying unnoticed. That's a strange Tito. Tito. And the guy saying, the toast, you're bringing the toast. So the toast has made the made his friend's name. <laughs> and the yeah, Michael wants a toaster. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really nice. It's really good talent. It's really good. Look at those eyes, man. So many different ways of doing things. Yeah, this guy's a great artist. Yeah. We don't even know about him until now. No, he was never known, that's the thing. But it's not like he really was going for fame or anything. He was going for perfection in his talent, right? He just wanted to do whatever he could draw, whatever he wanted to do. That picture of the North Shore is amazing. It's like a photo. Or it's like a classic painting. He just wanted to draw whatever he wanted to draw and do it for This is draw. really good stuff, man. Oh, yeah. There's some watercolors, like. So are there any things for sale? No, no, nobody wants to sell anything. Good friend? Mm-hmm. But the art is important. We don't care about the framing. Yeah. Look at that. That's downtown somewhere. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the heck that is. I know where it is. It's near, is it? Is it us? Nice? Credit and Columbia supplies on. Oh, it must be in Germany. Or Germany. Not a place that looks like, you know, like Vancouver, eh? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But that looks almost like Van somewhere in Vancouver. It really does. Yeah. It's psychedelic. That's surrealistic. Really surrealistic. Uh, you get from Europe. Yeah, I like this one. That's a good painting. Uh, yeah. That looks good too. He did some really huge ones too, like wall size and stuff. This is amazing stuff! Yeah. Stuff. Hey. Well, to the inside of the building. The wall's gone away and there's everybody in their rooms. And... The wall's gone and <laughs> there's everybody. Doing Crazy, isn't it? There's sex going on over yeah. there. Oh, wow. Oh, my doggy style. Who has a lift hey, like that? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Like, I really like this art. Uh -huh. And unfortunately, you don't want to sell it anymore. I'm just impressed with this painting. It's all my cork all around. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. 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 The first time we were able to make such a, you know, retrospect. He was a bit of a devil, you know. He tried to do stuff just to piss us off. He was no saint, you know. He had his moments, right? Did you uh, tell her about it? One day she was really, he was really mad at me. I think he thought I was getting too middle class or something like that. So he ran down to the store and got a can of dog food and came in eating it with a plastic spoon. I go, dog food, what are you doing? And he goes, I felt like liver and onions. <laughs> What's disgusting? I go, get out. He said, I've, I've discovered the, the way to be a starving artist and still survive. So Leo and I kicked him out and uh, we said, uh, we draw the line at human dignity. Yeah. <laughs> line that, Feeding that yourself I, dog food for, a, for a, an artistic statement wasn't yeah. really, like, Too many people are too hungry for that. Oh. Now that the old kitchen is super detailed and fantastic. And there's a video of him painting in, in Germany too. If we had on the other room, but I gotta get one of the pits and turn it on and do it on the phone. I didn't know that he did all these PC ones, like the, the elevator. Like the elevator? Yeah, I never saw those before. The story of that, that's the, the canal where he turned out. I think he was trying to cross the ice. It's a very slippery thing. Yeah. But that is a community theater on a boat. Yeah. Because they don't have to pay rent since they're on a boat. Yeah, right, right. And he loved that place. He's going there all the time. He was missing for about six weeks. And the body came up right beside the boat. So it's kind of ironic. He would love that. <laughs> I'm here for my last stack. <laughs> he was so dramatic. Was yeah. it? Yeah. And that was a squat. That was an abandoned house. That's in the thing that he's painting in the video. I don't know where that is. That's, oh, that's uh, Pender Island. That was Kevin's place that he got over there. 
for doing this. This is really nice. Oh, I'm just happy you could come and, I, and we want to film it and put it on YouTube so that Absolutely. your friends and that. Uh, yeah, can overseas can yeah, see yeah. this for sure. Well, I was still even friends from town here that just didn't make it. We threw it together so quickly, you know. Yep. It's like, let's do it. We've got the space. We've got the time now. Mm. Let's kill it. That's all I can say. Thanks so much, 